Hey guys, so as I'm making this video, uh, one of our pro staff members came up with a question. They were asked by a personal friend, why do, why do we shoot stabilizers? Why does my bow, why is my hunting bow, why is my target bow, why do I have more than just one little dinky, dinky stabilizer out the front? Here's the reason. The bows nowadays are so quiet and so accurate, if you get a little 6 inch stabilizer with no weight on it, uh, that really is not going to change the accuracy of your bow. Um, in theory, and from what I've done, the heavier your bow, the the more accurate it's going to be. So if your if your take on hunting, if what you want to do with hunting is just I want to kill a deer at 20 yards, and I don't really want to have a heavy bow, that's totally fine. This isn't this isn't for you. Uh, what I want to give advice on is. If you want to take your hunting bow and you want to extend your range a little bit. Um, so that's why, for me, that's why I shoot the 15 inch bar out front with the weights out front. It makes my bow heavier off the bat. So first thing is you should have the front stabilizer. Guys, the reason I run the longer stabilizer out front is because the farther away you put the weight from the bow, the more stable your pin is going to be. That's why on my target bow, I have a 30 inch bar out the front. So taking my hunting setup and just doing the same idea, that's why I run the 15 out the front and I have some weight up front as well. Um, the back stabilizer is actually just as important, if not more important, than your front stabilizer. And the reason for that is all about your bubble. Okay, When you're hunting and when you're shooting out back, just trying to get ready for hunting season, I'm sure that everybody here has drawn their bow back and noticed that their bubble is not level. Anytime you have to self-correct that bubble to be center, you just added torque to your grip. So that is what causes left and right issues downrange, talking like 30, 40, even 25 yards. So the whole point of the back stabilizer is you can adjust how much weight you put on the back and you can adjust the way the bar sits on the bow. You can put it in all the way or you can move it out. So what you want, what you really want to happen is you want to have the stabilizer in the front setup, and then you want to have everything on the bow, whether you shoot with a quiver or whether you shoot without, shoot without a quiver. Um, when you draw the bow back, you want to set your back stabilizer up to where the bubble sits perfectly level without any effort. When you achieve this, you're going to have the least amount of torque possible, and that's really, really going to increase your accuracy downrange. From I've talked to many people after they put the back stabilizer on their bow, and I've and every single person has thanked me or they agree with me that your bow will shoot that much better. Like I said, if, you're, if your goal in this is just to shoot a deer at 15, 20 yards and you don't want the extra weight, that's totally fine. This advice is for the hunter that wants to extend his range a little bit, still be ethical, but they want to extend that range to 30, 35, 40 yards on a deer and they want that pin to sit rock solid and they want to make a good shot, this is where you can make changes on your bow setup. If you guys have any specific questions um, for our group or for me specifically, uh, drop it in the comments and then we're going to do our best to help you out as much as possible. Thanks guys and we'll talk to you later.